Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today's video, we're going to go ahead and open up a second box of 2021 Bowman Heritage, just so you know. Um, this is how they're shipped now. This is how boxes are shipped from Tops now, uh, or Fanatics. That's the nice part, is a little bit better shipping. Uh, ordered several boxes, came in the just the other day, so let's go ahead and open this up. 20 packs or 24 packs per box 10 cards per pack uh, the set itself has 250 cards uh, within each pack you can get two chrome prospect cards and there is one auto per per box sometimes you can get i've seen boxes where you get two so let's go ahead let's open this up and let's see what we get hopefully we get some good Good prospect auto, a couple good numbered chrome cards. Generally get anywhere between five and seven numbered cards, it seems like. Sometimes you can get eight. Um, so this is a good product. To, if you like chasing numbered numbered refractors, this actually is a good product to, to do so. In fact, we already got something right off the start. But there's, uh, there's the set design if you didn't watch the first uh, box opening. Uh, and then we got an Eduardo Garcia Chrome for my brewers. I'll put the paper right there. And then a Jaron Duran Prospect Refractor. He has the rookie card in the 2022 Bowman Heritage, which you had to buy as a bundle. Uh, but there's our first number card starting off. Yelich hey, and Mookie Betts. Yeah, my brewer stack going. There we go. All right. On to pack two of the left hand side. We'll go left to right. Okay, Danny Lynch. Trick Scooball. We got Ed Howard. And Jiwan Bay. Honestly, I like Bowman uh, Bowman Heritage. Usually they harken back. This is the 93 design, I believe, which is a nice, clean design. Definitely, definitely a nice one. Jefferson Caro. Here's our, our first black and white parallel for Akil Badu. There's Jordan Walker. Nice. And PCA. This side, this design's nice and clean. Then you got the '94 design for 2022. Um, that one is a little more. I like that design a lot. Uh, it's just with the foil, its names are hard to read on this 2022 design. But 2022 boxes. There's Dylan Carlson rookie. Um, the with the foil, it's a little hard to read names. That's the only. That's the only drawback. Gabriel Arias and Aaron Sabato. Chrome cards. Oh, we got a blue parallel coming up. And cursed dad. Oh, we got a backwards Julio Rodriguez. Um, why was that backwards? Let's see. Here is that photo variation? Photo variation. Yep. Very cool. It's nice when you get the photo variation of a top prospect. We'll go ahead and top load that one. Good spot to get a Julio. All right. And then we got, well, we got a Bryce Terang and our Our blue parallel is Emerson Hancock, and that is numbered out of 99. So, unfortunately, pitcher, but at least it's got a little bit of that color match with the Seattle Mariners. All right, I'll throw that one over there. 
train can go in the brewer pile. Uh, if you didn't watch the first video, if you want to see some of the the odds, there they are. Should get two image variations per box. Tatis, Grayson Rodriguez, who was recently called up. Oh, how about that? Black and white. Wander Franco. I will at least sleeve that one up. You got Spencer Torkelson and Nick Lodolo for the chrome. Hopefully, Torque can have a Stronger season than last year. He seems to be hitting better, at least the early part of the year. Pineda. And then we got Reed Detmers. And Herbierto Hernandez for the Rays. All right, last pack of the left stack. Then we'll move to the middle. Looks like we got another number card coming. There's Anthony Volpe. There's a Shohei. We got Xavier Edwards and Keone Cavaco refractor out of 199. Well, quite a bit off center, unfortunately. Actually, I have found. Most of the quality control to be pretty decent for for 2021 heritage. 2022 heritage, I don't know, because uh, without the borders, a little bit hard to see. And uh, but at least on the Pedro Leon as a as a. Photo variation. We'll go ahead and throw that right there. Here's Miguel Blyce and Edward Perez. Yeah, I'm getting a nice stack of brewers. Sam Huff and George Spencer. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of, at least on the boxes that I've opened so far, which, you know, I haven't seen too many, like, scratches on the, on the Chrome cards. Uh, centering has generally been... Decent. A couple cards here and there. Oh, we got our next numbered card. Hey, look at that. Garrett Mitchell. Off to a strong start. Then we got Jake Vogel. And Gabriel Arias is our next numbered card. I'm going to go ahead and Leave up that Garrett Mitchell as well, given that it is a is the black and white parallel. He's off to a really nice start early in the season. Hopefully, he can hopefully all the Brewer rookies can keep that up. Trang, Weimer, Mitchell, all hitting quite well. To start off this early part of the year. Ladies Jordan, Arenado, there's another Darren Duran. We got Manuel Rodriguez and Christopher Morell. Actually is a rookie in 2023, Top Series 1. I was lucky enough to get one of his uh, autos, which I think is he's uh, kind of a, a sneaky, decent player in this this year to kind of grab. Okay, here we go. C.J. Abrams, Bryce Harper, Braden, Shoemake, James Beard, and Alexander Viscaino with another Eduardo Garcia paper. Ooh, we got gold. This is about where our auto would be. Let's see if we get lucky. 
Louis Patino. Patino. Black and white. Is it the auto? It is not the auto. It is Edward Cabrera. Gold out of 50. He kind of had a... At least as of when I recorded this, his last outing was not a good one. But he's he looks to be a promising pitcher, so... Although I don't like this idea of my all my low-numbered cards being pitchers, Bellinger and Cabrera. All right, let's keep it going. Five, five numbered cards so far. Very nice. And we're only halfway through. A little over halfway through. And we got another one coming up. Ooh, love these boxes. Rene Ranacci with Jose Salas. Will this be our auto? Looks like it might be... Hey, that's not a bad one. Robert Hassel. Gold. Kevin Alcantara on the back. That's that's uh, that's a solid auto. Yeah. I think he's on Nationals now in the Nationals organization, but I will take the color match with the San Diego Padres uniform all day long. Solid auto, which makes up for my first one, which, uh, yeah, I was not happy with my first auto. It was one of the worst ones you could get in the set. And it's there's only like 30 autos or so, um, so it's... You know, your chances of getting at least a decent auto is 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 pretty good. Drew Waters and then Edward Cabrera. Nick Madrigal for the Cubs. With the rookie card symbol. That's one of the nice parts. Some of the later cards do have Madrigal in the Cubs uni with the rookie designation. Not not all of his cards have that. Most of them are in his White Sox uniform. Shamel, Herberto Hernandez, black and white. Brennan Davis and Blaze Jordan, chrome cards. All right, down to our last stack. Hopefully we get one or two more numbered cards. We already have six, including the uh, Hassel Auto. It'd be nice to get one or two more, maybe another blue or gold. We got a Jared Kalenic. Rookie black and white. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Hopefully he figures it out. I don't know. It doesn't look so great. Hunter Green and Maximo Acosta. There's a Key Brian Hayes rookie. He's off to a slow start again. So Lacey, DeGrom, and we got, oh, we got another numbered card, Brandon Marsh, with the Jose Salas refractor out of 199. All right, Ian Anderson. Trout. Yeah, that was Johan Rojas was my first auto. Adel Amador and Daryl Collins are the Chromes. Your Crochet rookie. Medina, Daryl Collins, black and white, with Zach Veen and Austin Hendrick, and Aaron Sabato paper. Definitely got decent stack of chrome in this, with with a lot of the top top prospects out of out of twenty one. I think you'll be able to get twenty one for for cheaper pri prices. There's a Riley Green, Braden Shoemake. Matthew Libator, yeah. kind of continuing that, that thought. Should be able to get 
21 Heritage for, for a decent price on the secondary market in, I think, the next few weeks as everybody kind of gets their bundles. Um, most people are really only wanting to keep, rip open the 22 because J-Rod, Rookie Autos, uh, the prospect list in there is better. But this is solid as well, in my opinion. There's a Bobby Witt. And we've got a blue coming up. Jazz Chisholm. Nolan Gorman. There's a Pedro Pineda. With El Chris Olivares for the Rockies. I have a red auto of his. Red wave auto, I believe, out of uh, Bowman Chrome of his. So, unfortunately, our, our low-numbered chrome parallels have all been pitchers fortunately i got that robert hasselgold so i will i will gladly accept that as the result of this box um if i can get a solid auto out of it like that i'll take i'll take a few pitcher chrome card numbered chrome cards there's a dylan lars dylan carlson Black and white rookie. We'll sleeve that one up. I'm happy with the black and whites as well. Black and white parallels have been really good. Marco Luciano. Mania. And there's a Garrett Mitchell and a Jared Klenick. All right, last pack. Can we get anything in this? I've got eight parallels. I, I can't expect any more. Not just, just two base. Oswald Peraza, there's Alejandro Kirk, rookie, and we got Pedro Leon, so that's the actual photo, and Brainerd Bonacci, and Emerson Hancock rounds it out. So, obviously, I think this was an excellent box. We got the, the four prospect chrome cards, Duran, Cavaco, Arias, and Jose Salas. Did get the Ed Cabrera gold, uh, the blue Oliveras, and and Emerson Hancock. Uh, my two favorite cards out of this. We did get a Julio Rodriguez variation. Uh, you only get two of those per box. We did get Pedro Leon as the other, um, and the auto Robert Hassel gold out of fifty. Solid looking card. See, well centered. I don't see a lot of scratching or or print lines on it. I'll have to look at the edges. That's where these can kind of get a little squirrely. Oh, a little bit off center on the back, but not bad. So there you have it, folks. That's box two of 2021 Bowman Heritage. How do you think this was? Are you going after anything in, in Bowman Heritage? Feel free to leave a comment below. Go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button right down there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Continue to stay safe out there, and I will see you later.